Welcome to another video by DJ SPRC. On the table, we have the Scent Rally Puma uh, WR, WRC uh, Red Bull Ford body uh, in front of us. Time for some upgrades for this guy again. And one of the previous videos, we did the set of swear bars in the back. Uh, I did show that we do have, um, for some reason I forgot the name of the other upgrade to this vehicle itself. Uh, kind of a mesh guard inside to prevent all the debris from going inside. But today we're going to install the steering bell crank set in an aluminum instead of having plastic. And this is the part CKM0305. Chaos Advanced Tuning Factory Upgrade. With metal ball and bearings. Let's open this guy up and see what we have inside. And supposedly, try to find out here, we ha might have a better uh, steering angle. Yeah, they're nice aluminum parts for sure. Very light. And here we do have our, all our bearings and our nuts. Let's open, it, open this guy up and see. Same procedure. Yeah, there's only one set of procedure. Uh, The thread lock not included on the nuts. You only need two because they are M3 uh, nut locking nuts. Okay, that goes in the bottom up there. The ling ling ling. Okay, that's pretty much straightforward. Let's remove our body off the vehicle itself. Let's open our bearings. And your screw pack, put that aside. Let's open these guys here too. I do love that they didn't pack everything in one bag. And you might be asking why he's saying that. Because all these parts, after in the packaging going around and around and around, they'll be all damaged. They did not do that. Good job, Sam. Okay, knowing the vehicle, this is going to be on that side, this is going to be on that side. Stay up, don't stay up. Now it stays up, and the chaos will go here. If you look in your bearing kit, you'll have four flange bearings. And you do have some washers in there too. Flange bearing will go with this guy here. One goes on top. The other one will go on the bottom. And they won't stay. <laughs> Let's put our nut. with our washer, or not, or screw with a washer. Now they give you four washers. And they only say to install physically Yeah, only one. The other one will go on top. Where's my bearing? Right here. I'm really going by the book because normally I kind of 
research this guys in advance but today I did not now all these parts stays together now if you look on our diagram here they say to go to the nearest hole would be these guys here what I'm going to do I'm going to physically hold this screw for it not to fall I'm gonna make sure here. Yeah, this goes on top. Okay. And I'm gonna start screwing by hand, just like this, until it hits it. Now I know it won't fall. Grab my two mil. Screw it in until it stops. Do the same thing on the other guy here. Now I'm just going to make sure of one thing they don't really say in the diagram, but kind of do, but they, they do show it here. If you see these posts are angled that way and that way, make sure that's the way you have it. So if not, that's not the way you have it, you'll need to dismantle everything and redo it. Okay, Thread, start threading our nut. That's the way it goes there. Now I'm going to go grab, pretty sure that might be a 5.5 five nut, yes it is, I'm going to hold my screw and tighten my nut. And I'm just going to make sure, I don't want it too tight. I don't want to basically, yeah, it's just when it's come snug. I mean, that's perfecto. Do the same thing for the other one. Everything still feels on ball bearings. Now we're going to take our ball bearings and insert them. They are really snug. They should not fall off. That's always a possibility they might. But our bearings are installed. At least your bell crank is fully assembled now. Now we're going to take the bill crank, put it aside. On the vehicle itself, you'll have one, two, three, four, five, six screws to remove. I basically went and removed four of them in advance. Now I'm going to remove the two in the middle that holds the physical bell crank. Don't mix them with your other screws. These are shorter and the other ones are longer. Now, when you're going to remove this, always be careful because sometimes you could have washers or even in their case here, <laughs> ball ends as a spacer. And if I look beyond underneath here, there's no real place to put ball ends. Now, in the instructions, 
they don't they don't mention it like at all do we need it do we not ah, it's hard to say but let's take this uh, steering link out Pull that aside. Now we're going to remove. In instruction, they do say to grab this guy here and put them at the uh, second rod length 21.60 mil. Don't have my caliper close by, but what I'm going to do is install it and adjust it after, worst case. Move the screw for that guy. Remove the screw for that guy. Pop our tool rod out. That way it's not in our way. Now I was hoping that they're not going to make me remove the drive shaft, but it looks like I'll have no choice. I can't even, because there's no way to, okay. Yes, I have no choice to remove these two screws here. I'm only going to remove one. Again, less part I remove, better it is. This may not work. <laughs> yeah, I'll need to remove the other one. Son of a gun. On certain vehicle, you're not obligated to remove these. On the Puma, you have to. And just be careful not to lose these two rods and they do have a washer I'm just gonna make sure everything's fine inside yes it is and the washer goes on top of here with the two other screws goes there that you'll we will yeah we will need to reuse but the bushings that's inside, we're not gonna touch. Again, in instruction, they don't say to reuse these guys here. But one thing I did notice, there's a valley. And having these here too, there's a valley. Having this in it, that removes the valley and puts it flat. And it will prevent the debris from going in there on your bearing. Now I'm gonna put these at the end. I'm gonna insert our bell crank holders in both. Now and basically put it back the way we took it out. And one thing you need to be careful, you'll notice this is keyed. It is a U-shape and that bell crank bar 
is designed to go one way. Now it's going to be hard to physically see it to put it back. What I do I go on top of it and I'm putting this upside down. There we go. Yeah, don't do like me. Put up correctly. <laughs> See that one I knew I could physically see the key. Kind of lucky on that one, the both keys are in. Flip the vehicle on its side. For a line or a screw. Uh, I'm not able to. Try to do it with my screwdriver before. Yeah. There we go. Now, the other thing I'm going to do, I'm not going to fully tighten it. I'm just going to stop there. So I'm not 100% sure that I'm keyed. Like I said, these are keyed. There's one way they can go in, but that won't prevent you from putting the screw in. I could be very lucky. I know this one is, the one I'm doing right now. That's why I fully tied it. The other one I'm not 100% sure. I guess I am. If you're not and you're, you're able to tighten it all the way, What's going to happen is the U-shaped key inside, you'll damage it. Now I'm just going to make sure everything rotates perfectly. It does. Now what I'm going to do, reinstall the, the steering rod. That will prevent the bell crank from moving around. Now it's time to put back the rods. And what I'm going to do here, I just want to see something. They do say to change your angle. Yeah. Basically, we'll take my wheels and put them like that. What we're going to need to do is remove these and adjust the link before I do that I'm going to put my washers back and temporarily that I adjust these links Got the ball ends. I'm just gonna screw the top one. That way, nothing comes loose. I'm gonna go grab the caliper. Okay, you guys won't notice, but I'll be right back. We have our measuring device. Preset to 21.60 millimeters. 
and basically we're gonna grab our tool link or steering link and see how far we are. We're not that far, just a couple of millimeters. Now I did this one already. What I'm gonna do is grab one of my screwdrivers, another screwdriver, and you could start twisting these guys until you get to your measurements. But I do have the handy dandy wrench here. That is from Intigy that has been discontinued since. But they do make some uh, you can buy. This is the, uh, let's say H4, I'm assuming that's four millimeters. Uh, and start turning until I get to my measurement that I need. Now you'll notice if you do one side, they'll go in, the other side will go out. I think I'm right there. Bring it in a bit. Try to keep these straight. It's not science, uh, rocket science. If you're off, you're off a bit. I'm off a lot. I think what I'm doing it was loosen it. Oh yeah. Okay, that works. Make sure these are pretty much straight. They are. Now it's time to put it back in the vehicle. Again, you don't over tighten these guys. Once it's snug, it's snug because it is an aluminum and once you strip aluminum it's hard to bring it back now plastic you can put a little bit of CA come on and you're able to rebuild the hole but aluminum yeah you cannot Now, you might need to do some fine adjustment. They do say 21.60. My steering wheel looks pretty much straight, but I feel they're a little bit like this. Now, I will do some fine tuning to bring them straight. But again, this is at 21.60. And like I'm saying, I feel my steering's a little bit off, but it is what it is. Now I'm gonna remove these screws here in the meantime. And gonna leave the ball in there. And this is where it's going to be a little bit tricky. Need to bring this straight down. I'm going to put a little bit of pressure. Make sure the holes are aligned. Looks like it. Bring my screw down. Gonna tighten it a bit. Make sure the hole aligns itself. And I just heard the ball and fall. Yeah, it did.
Come on. This is going to be fun. Let's try this again. Oops, wrong side. But I think you guys get the picture here, what I'm trying to, to do. <laughs> I think the ball end just fell again. Yep. No, I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. The only thing I can see, I didn't measure if these are the same length, but I am, something tells me they, they are. Because if they're not, that means we don't need the ball ends. But they do sure look like they are the same link. Yeah, they are. And that means we do need. Okay, I'm going to try something else here. Try to align these guys. This way. Bring them in. And something tells me that worked. Find out in a second here when we're going to flip the vehicle. Nothing's falling. There we go. Now, you might try again. Be luckier than me. Just put them on top, and you'll be able to just align them. It's the, what, third time I try. I was not that lucky. Now, you just need to reassemble your vehicle in one piece, and then make sure that your steering are, is straight, should I say, and you're golden. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. We'll be gladly to answer you guys. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. It does help the channel, and I do appreciate it very much. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this to come. Uh, now, on this guy here, for the moment, I think that's about it. And upgrades we're going to do. The other upgrade we might possible due to this vehicle would be the servo it is a savox uh 16 kilograms we might upgrade it to maybe the, like a 20 or even a 25 with uh some a little bit more speed out of it but that's going to be a future video and we're not sure yet if we're going to do that upgrade but i digress there you go. Thank you guys for watching.